been after me Y'all favorite came after me My fans up and them bands up And my fam up the mentality These niggas be faking yeah. The mentality These niggas be hating The mentality Yo, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Vel Back with another Mobile Legends video, man And on the last video we made We did make a video It was a pretty sad video, honestly because honestly, um, this guy, he's one of my fa he was one of my favorite Fanny players. I mean, he still is. He's a freaking beast, man. He's actually a beast. And a lot of people don't understand, like, don't really understand how how this impacts the Mobile Legends community. Like, people are saying stuff like, um, yo, mind your business and stuff like that. He can do whatever he wants to do. What you don't understand is if you care about him and if you care about Mobile Legends, you really cannot think this way. It's important that you understand the impact and the magnitude of things like this. So, um, I saw a lot of people saying that um, he needs to be kicked, just no limits needs to kick him and stuff like that. I've been saying a bunch of stuff just talking about him needing to be kicked from Evos. First off, I don't think Just No Limit is the one who makes those decisions. Obviously, he might have some type of impact on those type of decisions, but I doubt that he would be solely responsible for something like that. And also, I don't think um, he needs to be kicked. I don't think he should be kicked. Um, everyone makes mistakes and everybody does everyone gets pissed everyone gets mad like I completely understand this yo I completely understand this and everyone makes mistakes he's young he's famous like he has fame probably has money like he has all of this stuff that no like a lot of young people don't have and a lot of people young people don't know how to handle and all that so it's not like he might not understand that's why i make that's why i make the videos that i make that's why i make the exposed video because it's better that i make these videos instead of someone else be like if someone really just does not care about the mobile legends community they could use this to hurt the entire mobile legends community and what you have to understand is the only reason that mobile legends exists is because of sponsorships and and, and money and stuff like that as well as some of these teams including evos evos and all the sponsors all the money all the things that makes that that organization run well this puts that stuff like this puts it at jeopardy because think about it this way if you're a business you want your business to be successful you want to go and advertise on a certain youtubers channel or a certain you want to advertise for a certain team what you're going to do is look at that team's reputation and look at if that team is going to bring you negative negativity or if they're going to bring you positivity if they're going to bring you your company good feedback because for instance let's say um let's say a company works with a bunch of other companies and then that com the other companies say oh you work with that team that's toxic online you work with that team that insults dead people like you you work with that team we can't do business with you anymore like you you see how that will hurt businesses which means if if it gets to the point where this becomes popular and people get more and more and more toxic companies will stop working with evos companies will stop working with evos companies will stop working with mobile legends which means everyone stops making money which means you all stop getting content they probably leave the mobile legends community and mobile legends potentially dies if money stops coming to mobile legends through sponsorships and stuff like that you won't see as many events you won't see as many tournaments like everything can change that's what you have to understand about this so it's not just something as simple as oh a, he, he gets mad everyone in the game gets mad sometimes no when you're a public figure, everything you do is in the spotlight. Everything everything that you do is seen by other people. And especially if you have a bunch of kids running around doing the same thing now because they think it's okay because you did it, this can have a huge impact and huge consequences on the Mobile Legends community. Now, um, in, in Indonesia, I really don't know how it works there. I really don't know how it works or he's from Singapore. Like Everyone is saying that it's a lot more toxic there, but what you have to understand is I doubt the people are this famous. You have to realize, do you understand that he is one of the most famous names in Mobile Legends, period? It's a lot of people who know him, and they don't know Just No Limits. And Just No Limits has like 3 million subscribers. It's a lot of people who know this guy simply because of how good he is with Fanny, and they don't know um, the biggest Mobile Legends YouTuber in the world. So, that's how huge this guy's impact is. And I don't even know if he understands how huge his own impact is. But, um... He, he don't even like what's crazy is he was he like he seemed like he had an ego he was bragging about being in evos and calling people irrelevant simply because um they're not in evos i think that he his his name and his brand is probably just as powerful as evos man like i think that him being him by simply him being him by himself is enough to brag about but still that does not mean you should do it like why would you even do that 
Like, at, at the end of the day, this dude is super famous, he's super talented, and he, he has a lot more fame than he may realize. Like, literally, when people think of Fanny, his name is always in the conversation. You will not hear somebody saying who's the best Fanny without saying his name. Like, literally, a, a, her a hero that everyone in Mobile Legends knows, everyone in, in Mobile Legends likes to see play, his name is always put into a conversation when you're talking about the best, and usually when you're talking about the very best, a lot of people put him at number one. So, basically, like... When you think my videos are meant to be negative, it's definitely not. Like, if he sees my videos, I want him to see this and understand that what type of impact that he has on the community. I want him to understand just how powerful he is in the Mobile Legends community. And I want him to say, oh, okay, he, he right. I do kind of have a big impact. Let, let me stop doing this because people are looking up to me. It can risk sponsors. And honestly, he could get kicked from Evos for it. Like, if Evo starts to take stuff like that offensively and, like... The first time Evo's like, like let's say I don't know how much money they make from their sponsorships, but let's say they have a a, a million dollar sponsorship, and that sponsorship cuts them off. They they're like, oh, you have members in, in Evo's that's doing this. We're done working with you. No more business with you. If he costs Evo's a million dollars, do you think he's still gonna be in Evo's? <laughs> like you have to, like you can't just say oh, oh I'm, I'm a fan i'm a huge fan i'm riding for him to the end he can do whatever he wants no he cannot if you care about him don't let him put his future at risk by being toxic because easily like you never know what's going to happen bro you never know what company is going to see him doing these things you never really know what what an outsider is going to see and what an outsider is going to think bro you never know so he could literally ruin his own future doing stuff like this if the wrong person sees it like if if, if all it takes is for um, Evos to lose a sponsor. Then then he would be kicked. But I don't believe he should be kicked. Like I said, everyone makes mistakes. I don't believe this is something that should happen. Um, I definitely think that he should still have the same support. I just think that he needs to be more careful with the amount of support that he has. Like that, That's been my whole point this entire time, man. I think he needs to be more careful. So it's not to spread hate. I don't want a lot of people hating him. I don't even want a lot of people. I don't want nobody to stop watching him. Like that. That's never the, the goal with what I do. I spread awareness and I try to get people's attention so they can stop doing what they're doing. Now you have this negative side to say, oh, Vail does this for views, Vail does that for views. I've been in Mobile Legends community for years and I've been getting views um, ever since, like, since I touched down into the Mobile Legends community. I was getting views before a lot of these YouTubers even existed. Before your name even existed, I was getting views. All of these guys. So, I, I don't want to hear that, oh, Vail is doing this and that for views. It's clear. It's obvious that I can get views. I do this because this is making, this is this is what's killing the Mobile Legends community. Like, people are not seeing the bigger picture. All these kids running around being toxic, making a bunch of people quit the game. I was just talking, I kid you not, bro. I was just talking to someone, I'm not going to say no names or anything because the person was pretty famous. The person was very, very famous in the Mobile Legends community and one like really on the leaderboards, really going crazy and stuff like that. I'm talking about like got like 500 stars into Mythic within like a, a, what, a few hours or something. Like not a few hours, like um what, maybe a week. I think maybe less. Was it two days? It's like in between two days to a week, like doing some legendary stuff basically. But this person quit playing Mobile Legends because of how toxic it was. Like, um, you start getting so much hate just, just for no reason. People being negative, people being toxic, and people just making making fun of the person. And it's not okay. It's really not cool. Like, so many people, it's so many stories like that. A lot of the best players, Mobile Legends players in the world, have quit playing Mobile Legends for similar reason. You got people out here cheating, doing the 2 2 1 and stuff like that. And then you got people thinking that it's okay for people to do the 2 2 1 and people to cheat. Cause, like, basically, a lot of people are saying everyone does it, so that must mean it's okay. Are you an idiot? Do you not? It's a reason that Mobile Legends has over 100 million downloads, and I guarantee you, nowhere near 100 million people play Mobile Legends still. That's an issue, bro. Like, how can you really piss off the, a mass amount of millions of people? How? By doing these same stupid decisions that's being done in the community. So if the community does not wake up and change the things that you're doing, change the things that we're accepting, we're all going to go down. Like, you think this is just about me getting views? This is about me not wanting my channel to die? This is about me not wanting Mobile Legends, the whole community, to die? Because all, everything dies. If, if Mobile Legends keeps going down this road, everything dies. 
it's not just me it's not just um it's not just the the youtubers that i'm exposing it's not just them it's not just the community it's it's everything everything you know and love and and you enjoy and you come to play mobile legends when you're feeling down or whatever all of it can end and all of it is slowly ending look at the numbers this is facts bro this is facts mobile legends has been going downhill for a while you have to wake up and you have to make some changes just because there is going to be some level of toxicity listen if, it, if he was just saying yo you're a noob you're a noob or something like that cool perfectly fine but it's certain levels you don't cross and and even just saying you're a noob you shouldn't do that that's a bad habit but when you get to a certain level of being pissed you're gonna say some things but certain things should just never cross your mind to ever say but that's pretty much it man i just want to make this video to really inform you all on the impact of something like this in the mobile legends community bro um this is like, like i said i don't want him to be dropped i don't want him to lose support i don't want anybody to hate him dislike his videos dislike the things that he's doing none of that i want him to be successful i want everyone to be successful but i want everyone to think about the impact they have on the community and think about the things that they do before they do them that's pretty much it yo um uh hopefully you all learned something about how business works from this video or something like that and um hopefully we can see a change in the community we can see a change in what people will accept and a change in some of the behavior of some of the top players because honestly at the rate of the rate at which i'm discovering all this toxicity and the how high it goes like literally a legend a mobile legends legend is doing this is there hope for anyone if some of the most popular people in the world do this like i don't i really don't know but um drop that thumbs up on the video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one fam peace out yo i'm on it can't fail for my family i want it so they'll never need hope i want